So, all right, guys. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure Forte Client EMS exploit protection. You know, um, security improvements do not stop in managing endpoints using a centralized system. It continues to include additional protection measures such as zero-day attacks and application vulnerabilities that have yet to be discovered. So many workstations and large organizations still continue to run old versions of operating systems and softwares. Many of those endpoints do not have the latest security patches installed, which means they have vulnerabilities ready to be exploited. You know, hackers often take advantage of such out-of-date software vulnerabilities as a favored vector of attack. So in this um, um, video, you no know, configure of Fort Client EMS and enable anti-exploit in um, EMS profile. We're also going to be using anti-exploit to block a vulnerability. Let's get started. Um, so we'll simply log in um, now to our Fort Client EMS and go to endpoint profiles, then we'll manage profiles. Um, I'm going to use the default uh, profile there to enable the anti-exploit and antivirus. So under malware tab, you um, toggle the antivirus protection, then um, block the access to website and all that. Then you um, scroll down to um, that place and toggle the anti-exploit protection. Then you save. The application that we are trying to protect here is the um, Adobe um, Acrobat um, Reader. As you can see, it was selected in, um, in the application um, protection. So you can also select other applications that you feel you need to or protect within your environment. Um, so this um, Windows 7 has not been patched. Um, the machine is missing uh, major um, security patches by Microsoft that should be applied uh, by uh, an administrator. And also, in addition, the internet browser on the machine is also running an outdated um, Adobe Flash Player plugin, which is susceptible to a vulnerability by its array use after it was discovered um, by the hacking, hacking team. So the user here uh, was provided uh, with a link to update the plugin of um, Adobe um, Acrobat and other unaware um, that the link is compromised by the attackers to look like a genuine um, web page. So, so <clears throat> when the user um, tries to install the update, you know, um, so the, uh, after clicking it, the, the, the malware that is attempted to exploit um, this vulnerability of, of a plugin does several checks before doing um, its exploit. So as a result, there is a delay before it um, executes. It takes up to like um, 30 to 60 seconds. So before the plugin runs, um, it is detected by 40 clients and determine the risk to terminate the exploit. So um, the Adobe uh, Flash plugin is uh, plugin crashed. Um, due to the exploit overflow, the memory stack, you know, but the fourth client interference uh, helped to protect the browser from being from being affected. So when we, we check our, um, our our dashboard on on the fourth client, we'll see that um, one exploit has been um, detected and that's been um, that's been rem uh, remediated or uh, mitigated. You understand? 